Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today we're discussing a sensitive topic. In this digital age, our personal media servers are a treasure of entertainment and memories. But sometimes a ransomware can destroy everything, bringing you to complete loss. I have seen many cases where people lost everything related to their media servers because of a simple ransomware attack. So let's just dive into how to protect yourself in order to avoid any unnecessary issues. So the first tip that I can recommend is for you to secure your network configuration. One of the crucial things that you have to do is make sure that your media server is not so exposed on the internet. So in this case you can use a VPN that can prevent unnecessary port routing or forwarding so you can steer out of attacks or potential hackers that can take all of your data. Next in line you can also disable and upgrade your security protocols disable SMB 1.0. It's a very well-known security risk to use this outdated protocol, so make sure to enable newer versions like SMB 2 or SMB 3, which offer improved security features and better authentication methods to prevent against unauthorized access. So remember, no SMB 1, step to SMB 2 or 3 and you're good to go. Tip number 3, firewall and network segmentation. What does that mean? It means you have to implement a robust firewall. So maybe the Windows one or the default one on your computer is just not enough. There are firewalls that are way stronger than the default one on Windows, so make sure to check them out and maybe install one of them. As well, segmenting your network can isolate your media from other devices. That means if one device is compromised, the infection won't spread as easily in all the other parts. So make sure to try a new firewall and segment your network in order to keep safe. Next in line, you should also regularly back up your PC and do all the necessary software updates. Maybe go get a few hard drives to put your sensitive data on them and even update your software like antivirus, your Windows OS. These are all very good solutions to protect your computer from any unexpected attacks. Most of these software and apps have automatic updates, so just make sure to turn the toggle to on and you don't even have to bother doing the update manually. So remember, get extra backup and also update your firewall, your antivirus and your Windows OS. And lastly, another tip is education. If you have other people using your computer, make sure to teach them the proper ways to keep it safe to prevent any surprise attacks. Because for you, it's not a surprise, it's actually the worst thing that can happen. So if you have other users using your computer, make sure to show them, okay, I have this software, I have this firewall, update it, make sure to back up this media, such and such educate your users, whether it's family, friends, by your ways, because your ways are the most important. If you know your ways to protect your PC, everyone else should know it. So keep in mind this. Now, I hope these tips helped you, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.